The Jewish Community Center in Syracuse isn't the only place that's faced anti-Semitism in the past few weeks. Community leaders are finding a way to stay positive and move forward despite the terror they've faced. Regular everyday Jews are afraid. This week alone, 16 Jewish community centers or day schools across the country were targeted with bomb threats, an event only too familiar to the Syracuse JCC. I was really concerned about the safety of the people who were uh, present at the JCC. Specifically, there's a daycare center there, so uh, a lot of young children uh, are present, and the idea of their safety being threatened was uh, incredibly horrifying for me. It's been a couple of weeks since a bomb threat was called into the Syracuse JCC that you see right behind me. But members of the Jewish community of Syracuse are still moving forward. My sense has been two or three things. One, to try and comfort the fear and allay the fear. The second is to sort of encourage people to be defiant. To say, you know, we're not going to tolerate this. We don't have to put up with this. Uh, we have every right to be out in public, to send our kids to a Jewish community center or a Jewish day school and expect them to be safe. Stephen Suskind, the executive director of the JCC, declined to comment on protocol in place for fear of compromising the JCC's security. But other Jewish centers in central New York, including on the Syracuse University campus, have taken extra precaution. We have a very in-depth plan for what to do if there's a bomb threat, and that's something that like we've never thought about before, like we've never had to think about before. While safety steps have become a new normal for Jews in central New York, they say it's easy to move forward after sharing their experience. And I think we can solve this. I think this is a sort of problem that makes us stronger in the end. Members of the Syracuse Jewish community are hoping that by opening a dialogue with other religious groups, these kind of attacks will diminish in the future. Reporting live in the studio, Jamie Weiss, NCC News.